Well, hello, everyone. Welcome. What on earth happened? Who turned out the lights? Hey! Well, hi, anyway, and welcome back. Do you notice anything different about me? Yes, I have decided that as long as we are upgrading these bear claw weapons, we might as well lean into the entire lifestyle. Give it a try. Can't knock it if we haven't tried it. And it makes a lot of sense, if you think about it, because, like, what is more fearsome in the world of Elden Ring, in the lands between, than giant bears? Bears are terrifying. What's going on over there? Bears are terrifying, before I lose the thought. And in order to achieve that level of strength and to strike that kind of fear in our enemy's heart, I think we must become the bear. I don't like what I'm seeing. This looks to me like pests, but worse. Blood pests. I feel like these aren't foraging and aren't going to give me cookbooks. They are not here to share recipes. Their loss. I have so many. Now they just kind of look like shrimp. Scary shrimp, but, you know. I am a little fearful. The big red flowers are ominous for sure, assuming these are flowers. They look flowerish. Ominous either way. So we got this. This would lead up to... Maybe up to here. This honestly might be how we get to up to here. Maybe? Well, let's check. Hello? Oh. Just a tiny little spot. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe there's more we can reach. I do feel a little silly in this outfit, but also ferocious. Grr. I am terrifying. I don't think there's anything else up here. Boy, I'm glad you can jump down on Spirit Springs. Always slightly scary to do, but they're pretty forgiving with the <laughs> landing zone radius. I'd love to figure out how to fight these without fighting three at a time. If they're going to give me the option. Grave birds, okay. I'm trying to figure out what I what kind of trouble I'm in for based on the theming and I was thinking like blood this seemed very much like a uh, blood-themed enemy with the flowers and all that, but then also grave birds. I guess they're kind of everywhere. Please. Darn jump scare birds. Okay. Don't know how fighting you guys with the claws is going to be, but let's find out. Oh boy, hang on. Again, fighting three of you is not a great way to break in the new weapon. At least the rain went away. Pretty good. Yipes! Boy, that's a big hit, though, if it connects. 
Big damage. Still pretty not used to fighting with these though, so it'll take a it'll take a little practice for sure. There'll be some clumsy deaths, guaranteed. I did switch. I was trying to figure out like, alright, what's the best talisman to mix in with these? So I like I kind of been using the living jar shard in this slot, but uh, I thought maybe this raise the attack power of successive attacks since you're kind of just like spamming attack hits with these claws a lot. I also considered the blood loss uh, attack power raising one since like there is bleed on these claws, but it's I don't know. I feel like this is going to be kicking in more frequently. We'll see how it goes. Boy, they really just all travel in packs, huh? Worrying. All right. Okay, I've been seen. Okay. Unsporting. Have they not learned to fear bears out here? Is that a lesson I'm going to have to teach? Yeah. Yipes. Oof, three of them all at once may not be the best place. To learn bear tactics. Poise is just not up to the task. No, 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 no. Probably good to have another weapon on me to switch to. In a pinch. Maybe the axes. Axes might not be a bad backup. And this is all pretty lightweight stuff, so I imagine... Well, actually, maybe even better than axes having just another larger weapon. Yeah, we can we can afford to hold that at the same time, especially given how light the armor is, which that may also be one of the issues. Might be worth switching off of the very lightweight armor. Yeah. Take out the shield, come on. Don't care for y'all one bit. Nope. You know, they're really disrupting this whole learn to fear the bear plan I had for this world. Clearly, if we're going to be going up that cliff, we either need to book it. Actually, that's let's do that rather than totally clearing out this area first, since I also don't want to fight all the birds. Booking it makes a lot of sense. Yoink. Very cool looking armor. Love it. Leaving. Goodbye. I have bear lessons to teach. Bird, do you have thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's so many of them. I don't want to fight that many of them. But if they all see me like that many pest threads flying around, dangerous. Hello. 
Ah, it's a trap. It's a trap. Vulgar militia? Are they here? No? Just a lot of poison, huh? Fire spirit stone, though, and a cookbook. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. New things. Fire spirit stones. A way of making them now. A record of crafting techniques left by the horn scent academics who studied the ancient ruins of Rao. Details techniques for working with sprites thought lost to antiquity. Huh. Fire sprite stone, which is a Rao burrow inhabited by a fire sprite. Neat. Uses FP to release a fire sprite that bounces along the ground. The sprite pierces through enemies dealing fire damage. Of all the sprites, the fire sprites are said to be the most boisterous in nature. Sprites are kind of a new thing. That's cool. Grave bird's black quill armor. Also cool. Stone armor with a tinge of green. One of a set of armor pieces cast in the image of the grave bird. Featuring a cape of black death bird feathers, it enhances jumping attacks. Grave birds are ancient golems, created to guard the spirit graves, built where all manners of death ultimately drift. Lots of good stuff, but I still have a lot of learning to do. With these here claws. Embracing the entire red bear look made that we may abandon. It's fine, we've got plenty of other good looks to try out, but the claws I do want to give a chance to shine. These just might not be the enemies to fight with them. At least not three at once. When they are getting the jump on us. Yeah, just one of them? Not so bad. One of them I can definitely shred without too much trouble. Just gonna need to be a little bit careful choosing my battles. Eh, knocking them down is also not the most ideal, but I guess if you want to come up here, you can. Okay. Nope. Yeah, there's just not a good way to fight multiples of them with this armor that's not giving me nearly enough poise. More poise, though, might make a pretty big difference. Yeah, just not a good idea. Not a good idea. We're leaving. Bye. Yeah, I was really hoping I could dodge that stuff, but it, it does seek way too good. Okay, yeah. Here, I, let me change my, not my armor setup, let me change my weapon loadout a little bit, though. And the rain's back. What? Well, and the rain's gone. Make up your mind, Sky. Well, I've got the hammer and shield back kind of as the main thing right now, even though it's still probably not the best weapon for fighting pests, but... The big sword is too heavy. Thought I heard something. You... Come here. Ah. No. Don't run. Stop running. Uh, there's gonna be a problem. There we go. Okay. Yay, cool. I'll, uh... Okay. Boy, I'm just handling this whole area rather poorly. You, there you are. Yeah, I think 
taking advantage of the Great Shield against you guys is just... too effective a tactic to ignore. And you are going to have too much poise to interrupt with claws. There we go. I don't think anyone here is more afraid of bears than when I started. This whole plan's a bust. You. Nope. Darn things. They're so dangerous. And annoying. Next. They're not bad individually, but if you get more than one boy... Difficulty rises exponentially. Case in point. Come on. Just try to play it smart. Hey, I was shielding. Don't get behind me. At least I can fully block their little thread spell. If I couldn't, that would be much scarier. Figures we weren't going to get away with being able to think of these guys as friendly all the time. In this DLC. That's a new one. There's so many of you. Why am I fighting this many of you? Literally no reason. It's pointless. Okay, this is where I got the thing and got poisoned that one time. Good memories. Moving on. Like they weren't even guarding any shinies I could see out here. Definitely no point going in and melee fighting all these things with a weapon that's still really not the ideal choice. I feel like. For that particular enemy. At least there's a grace fire. We can have a nice clean start. It's like none of that nonsense ever happened. Where are we at this point? Okay. About to get to this whole big opening. And then we'll see if I'm right about all this getting me up here. On an odd little stretch of a ravine where there's just a whole bunch of these little blood pests, for lack of a better term, crowding the place. I wonder why. There weren't like any other caves I saw up there, I don't think. Hang on. I'm just gonna zip through again real fast up here just in case. Because I feel like I'm still missing something for why... Why the flowers and kind of blood theming and pests here. This feels... Noteworthy. That all this is gathered here. And maybe actually what's up there will clarify the fact that it's all kind of underneath this set of bridges. 
Maybe we'll learn something up there. Which sheds light on this. Hmm. Pretty wide open without a lot of enemies in sight. Well, this is quite a twist, and that is a problem for later. This is quite a twist. I guess I was mistaken all along. I thought I was going to be bringing the fear of bears to these lands, but, um... I see the fear of bears already existed here. I can now understand why... Especially here, in such close proximity to Baratory. The enemies might not even flinch at seeing me coming at them. A relatively small bear by comparison. Is this... This is the largest pile of gold-tinged excrement. Ooh, horn-strewn excrement. It's not often that FromSoft will do a poop joke. And even less often that they'll take a poop joke that they are, had already kind of made and then, like, double down, amp up on it. <laughs> take it a step further. So, like, excrement of a large carnivorous beast containing fragments of horns, found underfoot in places like forests where beasts dwell. It is said that the deadliest of the horned predators enjoy the sport of hunting and devouring other horned creatures. Are we going to see? I wonder if some of the bears down here will have horns. It would be, like, appropriate to the setting and kind of cool, but scary. Also, we got this. The poison flower blooms twice. Grants the poison affinity and this skill, which conjures stingers of scarlet rot from below to stab the enemy. Landing a follow-up attack on a foe already inflicted with poison or rot deals massive damage in one fell swoop. Wow, that's... very cool. Usable on all melee armaments. I definitely want to try that out on something. Being able to have Scarlet Rot anything on an Ash of War feels like cheating. <laughs> yeah, we got Rune Bears, all right. Good, good, good. How many shinies do we see around, though? Because that's the real question. Even with my knowing the trick of just put them to sleep... I'm not gonna go just... fighting rune bears. Unless I got a very good reason. They're a nuisance. I am glad to have a tactic for beating them when I do have to fight them. A hundred percent. But knowing that does not encourage me. It does not fill me with the bravery or the enthusiasm to go and just fight them for fun. Because I at least have learned a healthy respectful fear of large bears. Elden Ring taught me this. And I was trying to spread that good knowledge, but I see that my lessons are wasted on this particular region. Sleeping bear up that way. That one's, like, already asleep. What can I even do to them? I do see a shiny kind of near them, though. Several. And it's up. All right, fine. Up and angry. Goodness. Light sleeper. 
Okay. Nope, nope, nope. We are leaving. Definitely one of the scariest parts about rune bears, even if you decide, all right, I'm bailing, they are as fast as you. And they will chase. Ugh. And large red one. Okay, that one we definitely have to fight. Because I feel like that's going to drop something. Still trying to ignore what I am seeing in the distance here. That is a problem for the future. I have large enough problems right now. Large enough problems which are going to require preparations. This feels like... Yeah, this feels like an occasion... Unable to use with present attributes. Why is that? Is it just because it's... Oh, is my arcane too low? Was there something about my gear I was wearing before that was boosting my arcane more than I realized? I think it was. Maybe it was like the... Was it the... Hang on. What was boosting my arcane before that I put on? Maybe it was the helmet. It was! Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that I was not normally able to uh, equip that. I guess I need to put a level in Arcane. Down the road. Well, maybe that's good enough reason that and the fact that we're about to fight a very large red bear. Maybe it's time to just get our old kit back. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Thus concludes our bear cosplay. For now. I feel like it it really didn't get a decent run this episode, like I was hoping. We will give it another try later. Um, Mira... Let's see how you do. Actually, you're probably going to wake it up sooner than I'd like, but that's okay. We'll experiment. Here we go! It does have horns. Rukali, the great red bear. Napping? Napping? You're so large. Nap, nap, nap. Yeah! Love to see it. All right, now, don't get too greedy. Get in this as well. Boy, we are messing this thing up. Look at that large, very mad bear. Very cool and scary. Hey, that's a move I know. Good job, Mira. Finish the fight. Goodness. Yes. See, this is why we needed to do the bear cosplay later. Now we have, like, we were missing a key component. An incantation of what is jokingly called the Bear Communion. Channels the power of Rugali, the Great Red Bear. Transform oneself into a Great Red Bear and emit a mighty roar. Charging increases potency. An incantation that is more akin to the divine invocation of the horn scent than it is to the Dragon Communion. Only through desperate battle with the Feral Wild can one discover a god unique to oneself. Ah, oh, delightful. Yeah, we're definitely, um... We're giving that a shot. Down the road. We will get ourselves kitted out. Specifically. For bear combat. I am excited.
This test run might have been a failure, but oh. I do look forward to the day. And man, it's pretty out here. I love this atmosphere of the sun through the fog. Gorgeous. I am starting to lose track of my location a little bit. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot more bears up in this corner than I expected to encounter today. Okay, now I think I am going to have to contend with whatever this is I'm looking at. I don't like it, but I can't keep ignoring it. Thought I saw another shiny over here. Eh, must have imagined it. Okay, so it seems to me, on first impression, that the spider scorpions have figured out wings. Yeah, yeah, no, they, um... Started making their way down the wing side of the tech tree. Let's see how it works out for him. It is unsettling and also kind of goofy. Perfect FromSoft. Don't even. Yeah, you're not getting back up. Sorry. The thing is, I hate you. Every little thing I'm seeing about you and your entire look and deal is... ...not to my tastes. I don't like possibly having to fight ones on the ground at the same time. They're not sturdy, at least. Like, they're all pretty flimsy. It's just scary. And unpleasant to look at. Nope. Be dead. Be dead. Be dead. Thank you. Blech. More of you? Great. Well, you guys like spitting your poison, huh? No, that wasn't so bad. Not as bad as it would have been if I tried coming at him with the claws. Maybe the problem wasn't the loadout before. Maybe it was just me. Maybe I was not ready. To truly be the bear that everyone fears. That's the thing we can aspire to. The title of Elden Lord will be a fine stepping stone. But it'll be good to have another goal. Now that we have become Elden Lord and eaten the heart of the biggest dragon. Like, we need a new purpose. It was prettier with the sun out, but I'll be honest, it's still kind of pretty, if spooky and scary, still very pretty right now. 
it's pretty impressive that it can be this pretty with multiple of these on screen. All the same, I will try to fix the issue of these things being on screen. Because I don't like it any more than you do. What? Board, not now. I have enough on my plate. Nope. Die. Thank you. I am seeing a lot of these out and about. I'm guessing they're not interactable, as they are on the other side, but they do seem to be leading me in the direction, don't they? Just a fun little Reese's Pieces trail of statuary. Which is definitely a new sentence that I've brought into this world. Love having another cookbook. I'll read it later when I'm not in Baratory. Especially Baratory that is also inhabited by flying spider scorpions. It's just... The wildlife out here is... A lot. Not sure why the vulgar militia is also hanging out in this area. But I guess I did see a lot of them hanging out outside the last catacomb I spotted too, so... Maybe they're just getting into grave robbing. Scorpion River catacombs? I mean, I guess that's where I was. The Scorpion River. Still doesn't make it any more pleasant to read. Or think about. Yeah, I can relate. Hey! Excuse me. Kinda thought you guys would leave. You're scaring the ghost. Which is kind of insulting. It's really the ghost's job to do that sort of thing. It's not very considerate. Hey! Shadow Militiaman armor. Don't know if it comes in my size, but we'll have to see. Anyway, sorry, ghost, you were... saying? Whimpering? Stop! A virtual gaze from me! I beg, look away! Ugh! What? Um, hmm. Don't know if I like that. Let's see if we can find out what the ghost is talking about. Wasn't one this time. Maybe underneath? Nope. Okay. Well. How far are we from a level? Not far. Maybe let's just go ahead and get it. We're pretty close. Pretty close, and we've been acquiring a lot of these. Is that enough? Hmm, might not be. There we go. 
Let's go ahead and get a point in Arcane just because... Oh, we're going to need possibly several points in Arcane. I didn't see what the minimum was. Let's keep acquiring enough Arcane to keep using this sword, because I, I do like this sword. What are the requirements on this sword, Arcane-wise? Uh, 19. Okay, I need a couple more points in it. The hat is... covering the gap right now, but I don't want to have to rely on that. So... Cannon head, but accompanied by whom? Definitely not alone. Definitely not. But, okay. I do love him. Oh wow, you are alone. Quite the surprise. I might... I might know what the uh, ghost was scared of. It's pretty far away and hard to see, but I'm... looking across the room. If I'm identifying this correctly, I might... I might understand now. This is a tough little corner of the Shadow Realm, let me tell you. Wildlife here is intense. This this little corner is the Australia of the Shadow Realm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm feeling increasingly increasingly sure that um Oh no. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. That's so scary. <laughs> Something wild is going on with basilisks in here. And they've got even like the... School of Mensis, Brain of Mensis, slash... Uh, oh, what was the other place they used this? The... Frenzy tower flame thing that just starts building a status the more you're the longer you spend inside of it. Oh boy, that's what a terrifying combination of things that From has done before in some way. Oh man, that is effective. That's like if you want to strike fear into the heart of a FromSoft fan who plays all these games, that's like... I don't know if I can think of a faster, better way to do it than that. Just like... How much past FromSoft game player trauma can you hit with a precision strike? <laughs> like, surgically. All at once. Boom, there it is. This is it. I don't even know what I can... Do I have anything that would give me resistance to this death effect? Because I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't even know what kind of damage it is. I'm like, safe for the moment. Let's... Let me scan through stuff here, but I don't think... I don't think we have anything that's going to be... Other than, I guess, just this general non-physical damage, which that's... This isn't damage, it's a status effect. Uh, do immunity, robustness, or focus help with this death effect? Status, help me out. This is something I really should know by now anyway. Uh, immunity, resistance to poison and rot. Robustness, resistance to blood loss and frostbite. Focus, resists sleep and bouts of madness. I don't think that's what this is. 
So it's like sleep and frenzy is what focus protects you from, and vitality is res resistance to death. Okay, so... Are there any talismans that boost vitality? Sorry, I know I'm spending a long time menuing and not doing things, but... I mean, you're seeing it. Vitality, any of these? There. Okay, yes, greatly raises vitality, the Prince of Death's cyst. I knew there was a reason I kept this awful thing in my pocket still. Good times. Let's run. Oh boy, that builds up fast. Glad I had this on me. Whew. Goodness. That's so scary. You guys are a welcome break from what I was just dealing with. Okay, yes. I had my shield out, disagree. Knock it off. Okay. I really hope there's only one of those big... scary eye things, cause... Whew. That's got me tense. Okay, any others? No? Awesome! Feels like the sort of place that there would be illusory walls, but eh. Okay, wait. I saw that death meter build up just a little bit a second ago. Why? Cannon, hello. I do like the cannon faces. It's an oddly large room with not a lot in it. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we could have, like, dropped down here from- no. No. I was wrong. Hmm. Oof, boy, this is tight quarters. Eh. Thank you, shield. Who did that? You. Yeah, I'm definitely not leaving this guy alone. Ow. Worth it. Okay. Hammer would be better down here, I think. For now, anyway. For dealing with a whole bunch of, uh, these little guys. And I expect to run into some basilisks at some point. That seems like the theme. But until then... Hmm. Where is it? Wow! Okay, goodness. Well, that didn't hurt as bad as I thought. More of these, huh? Don't need this on my hotbar anymore. Okay, here we go. And not over there. Nope, 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 nope. Go. 
Oof. I do want that. Come on. Can't tell where your range ends. Okay. Get it. Thank you. Another one up there. That's fine. Could drop down. Might do. Later. Stuff over there, though. And soldiers. Hmm. Three of them. I guess I could lure them through here. That could be fun. Hey, you guys want to come uh, run at me over here? What do you think? Could be interesting. Or at least entertaining. For me. If you did. Hey, come on. All right, whatever. I'm climbing the ladder. Screw you guys. No fun. Um... Oh, no. What is that thing? Is it just a statue? Like a basilisk statue. Ugh. Awful. I do not approve. Oh, that's a long run. With this effect on. We can do it, though. Especially with this, uh... Talisman helping us. Just let me let that wear down first. I'm not taking chances. Okay. There's not a consumable that... lowers that. There is. Uh, alleviates death blight buildup. Right. Almost forgot. And I got a fair number of them. Sure. Let's keep that handy. Yeah. I am... much less fearful now. With the slower buildup. And these items. Much less worried. Ah, there's a lot of stuff up here still, though. To still see. Higher up places to reach. Hmm. Can we? Huh. I think that might be how we get back. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I need to I need to ride this thing over first. Yep. Oh boy, that's gonna be a small window. Oof. Okay. Let's go. Come on. Drop, drop, drop. Jump. Okay, what's over here? That, okay, cool. And then I want to see if I can drop down and break that thing. Ooh. It's not the helm I was hoping for of these imps, but uh, I'll take it. Head covering made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem. Resembling a lion in appearance, life force faintly clings to it. I don't know what that means, but hooray. Also, this hefty fetid pots. Awesome. And armor as dark as shadow worn by vulgar militiamen. Freshly singed battlegrounds effusing with the stench of the dead. Forbidden lands that will be excised from the memory of history. What better place than the realms of shadow than for such an army? I suppose so. But I don't have to like it. Uh, there's also stuff over there, and I'll deal with that in good time. Yeah, first I want to try to break this. 
If at all possible, it'd be so great. Heartbreaking. I want a dead so bad. This place is big. I know I've said that about every little dungeon. And catacomb and cave. It's pretty true, though. Yes, it's very good. Very good pogo stick you got going there. Knight's Lightning Spear, you say? That's interesting. One of the incantations of the capital's ancient dragon cult. Ooh, summons a lightning spear while also manifesting ancient dragon crests. On throwing the spear, the crests will launch additional spears. Charge to increase the number of crests and add a bolt of lightning to impact. An incantation that was taught only to the most accomplished knights and now a lost art in the lands between. I can cast it. I got several incantations to look at later. When I'm not quite so terrified of my surroundings. I had the shield out. Nonsense. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I wish I could break that thing. Or turn it off. That would be fine, too. And this is how we drop back into this room. Okay. Oof. Scary place. Don't think I missed any branches of this little uh, path over here, yeah? I don't think. Yeah, let's just drop down on this side over here. Seems safer. There we go. And then we run. Yeah. Hate it. Is there anywhere safe to stand over here while waiting to... Nope. Rough. Okay. I'll let that wear down and then we're jumping on that other one. Because there's stuff over there still. And above it. Okay. Let's go, come on. We're up. We're on. We did it. Thank you. Now maybe we can drop down on those clowns from above. Might even be another place to jump off of this thing over here. No, maybe not. There they are. As much as I would have loved to lure those three underneath this thing, this is probably the safer way to do it. Okay. Hey guys, it's me. Here to fight you, regular. Mostly. Not that regular, I guess. Who's next? Boy, this spell works. And you're sturdier. Alas. 
Goodness. Settle down, Darth Maul. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, a helmet. Thank you. How thoughtful. Eh. Black Knight Captain Hugh. Cool. Got a little reading to do. Helm worn by the Black Knights, servants of Mesmer the Impaler. Black iron ornamented with gold. A rotten odor stubbornly clings to it. I think we found other pieces of this set before. Uh, this, though. Ashen remains in which spirits yet dwell. Hugh, Knight Captain of the Black Knights. The Black Knights were the primary force of Mesmer's army. Second to their first Knight Commander was Hugh, a man with agile command of both twin blade techniques and the powers of the Crucible, and whose spirit in these ashes dwells. Though a captain of the Divine Beast Hunt, he followed his father, Andreas, into rebellion against Mesmer, and like his father, he too was imprisoned in an underground tomb. Mesmer mourned the loss of a brother-in-arms. Hmm. Neat little addition at the end there. But I still think I am not done out here. Time to go! Nope. Not that one, this one. Eh. Where was that area I was wanting to drop down? Might have been over there. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know if this is where I'm headed, but... Oh, yep, yep, this is it. I found it. Hooray. Hmm. How do I want to deal with this? They're not that bad, really. Especially individually, but, um... This is definitely not the way. Ooh, yeah, this is... uncomfortably tight quarters... to get pushed back into. Oof, sturdier than I remember. Yeah, we need to leave. This is not a good room to be in. This room may also be bad, but it's larger, and that has its pluses. Nope. Got one of you. Nope. Oh, you things are awful. Eh. You're also bad, but not nearly so bad. Stop doing everything. Okay. We are fine. D please, guys. Guys. I just survived a much more scary encounter. I am not going to die to you. That would be embarrassing. <sighs> what else? I did grab everything back here, right? Before the panic? Yeah, okay. Well, where does this ladder go? Really afraid of what the boss of this place is going to be.
Also very unsure where the boss of this place is going to be. What path have I missed out here? Maybe something back this way? Like we've been here. This is kind of an odd little nook, but I'm not seeing anything I can do with it. Nothing much in here. And now we're kind of back to the first main room. Now, I've not tried dropping down... I've not tried dropping down there, and I don't know how to get up there either. That Like, those seem like two places that I should really be able to figure out. At least one of these I should be able to figure out how to get to. Is this something I can drop down? Oh, no. No, 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 no. It is not. Not on that side, anyway. This side... Equally no. Okay. Huh. No, I guess I haven't gone down this yet, have I? Yeah, no, I didn't. Went back to see all the other stuff I'd missed and then forgot about this one. Just to be sure. Okay. All righty. Well, um, ugh. what? I hate that. Okay, I have to follow it, I guess? Oh, boy. Oof. Hate it. It's so scary. Fine enough if you're following it, though, I guess. Oof. I bet if you touch it, it just insta-kills you. That seems like the sort of thing that had happened. I'm gonna let it go back overhead. And then come back this way. Then we're jumping up there. Oof. Do not like. Do not like. Not sure why the shield did nothing in that circumstance. that time it made more sense, but, um, not enjoying being trapped in the corner. Okay. Ooh, this place has me on edge. Rolled a little late. Okay. Okay. Whoa. Big one. So big. Look out. Whew. <laughs> I do kind of love that thing, though. Good tension breaker. Okay. Now what? 
Lots of little guys and a caster too? Yeah. I think I'm going to try to get the first snipe here. I don't I don't want you casting anything. Whew, okay. That I can live with. Come on down. That is just fine. No eyes, please. Just imps. Just imps being imps. That I can live with. Hmm. <sighs> Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. <sighs> Hello? Hmm. Gah. Okay, that one bounces back pretty fast. That's our window. Here it comes. Bounce back. Pursue. Oh, so fast. So fast. Faster than I realized. Faster than I realized. Uh, I hate you. Your eyes are terrible. Why is your catacomb so large? I think we might have at least reached the boss room, though. I don't have high hopes for our chances, given what else is guarding this place, but... We will find out. Hey! You again. And a Death Knight. Okay, you are... A known problem. And you have a bigger axe. That's new. And I know that Tish does not fear you guys at all, so... I do know who I'm coming back in here with. Just haven't got the healing to beat you this time, I don't think. Woof! Especially if you're doing this. Excuse me. That was my health. Okay, well. I'll be back with help, don't you worry. Tish, I could really use a hand. This particular catacomb has me a little frazzled. And your presence would be a real comfort. Please murder this dude. Guard counter. Here we go. Round two. Excuse me. I had a friend to invite. Rude.
Tish, beat him up. He's terrible. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Ow. Don't stop it. It's my health. You're the worst. Whew. That lightning does do a number on Teach, though. There we go. That's what we need to be doing. Beautiful, thank you. Thanks for the interrupts. We're gonna make this happen. I think that was an attempted grab there, and I got really lucky by uh, having some iframes on the big attack. Thank you, Tish. I needed that. Death Knight's Long Haft Axe. Awesome. And also this. Two good things to look at. And also, almost forgot to grab these. Silly me. Hello again. You have quite the presence here. I'll read once I'm out of here. I can't read in these conditions. The Cerulean Amber Medallion plus three. A medallion with Cerulean Amber inlaid boosts maximum FP by the utmost. The Erd Tree's old sap becomes amber, treasured as the most precious of jewels in the age of Godfrey the First Elden Lord. I think there's about the same text as on the other one, but these medallions of the largest variety were conferred to the Godwin's inner circle of distinguished golden knights. Yeah. This, though. Death Knight's Long Haft Axe. An axe wielded by the Death Knight bears a representation of a decayed golden ring. Crackles with lightning, the power of the capital's ancient dragon cult. The knight, once the personal guard of Godwin, was also the protector of the Prince of Death's cadaver surrogate. Oh. Blink Bolt Long Hafted Axe. So like a a version of Blink Bolt, for, but for this. Neat. I do have the stats for it. This could be an interesting one, kind of. Like, I've got, I got a lot of toys at this point. I'm not hurting for toys right now, but... Eh, could be fun. Anyway. That was an ordeal, and it's definitely not gotten me up here. But, uh... I feel like on Thursday we should do a little bit more exploring around this perimeter just to see. Because I feel like there's potential. Well, anyway, that was an ordeal and this was a long one. Thank you all for watching. I will see you on Thursday for some more Elden Ring. Take care. Goodbye!